Welcome to the Velvet Room. Welcome to the Velvet Room indeed. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Nathan and we're coming around with another game that we're going to be doing a, uh, a playthrough for. And in this case we are, as you can now see, running into Persona 4. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. Now, this is going to be more of a, I guess, a more laid-back playthrough of this game compared to some of the other playthroughs that we'll be doing on the channel, simply because there's a lot more dialogue in this. So, in that case, I don't really want to try and talk over too many of the characters, so for the most part, I'm going to sit back and let them talk, and then I'll make responses in return for the most part. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. And right now, our uh, rather long-nosed friend Igor is looking to make a contract with us by the looks of it. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Now this is the important question. Who are we going to be for the entirety of this playthrough? What will be the name of our hero? I actually had an idea, so I might roll with that. Now, bear with me on this. It's gonna take a second. Wah. Not our. No, don't read it like that. He, he's he's foreign, right? Oh, wah. Completely good. Wait, that's the last name. Rip. Hold on. I'll fix this. Okay, look, we need an explanation here. We need to establish who we are, and we're a boy. This is a fact. Our last name is now Boy. And as we've already given away, our first name... War. A War Boy. That's his name. Not our boy. Maybe. That could be his name. But this is who we are going to be now. Our Boy. Yes, we would like our boy would like to proceed. Hmm, I see. Yeah, with those eyes, I think you see a lot. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Ooh, fortune telling. Does this come with the car? Do you believe in fortune telling? I mean, I'm always open to new possibilities. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. Th that is why we shuffle decks, yes? <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Oh good, we're already getting warning signs of impending doom. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Well, you look a lot nicer than you did in the fifth game. Ah, 
I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. So, Igor and his assistant Margaret. What a fun couple. Especially as his case. Until then, farewell. Well, Igor, I hope our dealings together will be far happier and better than the last time. So, for a little bit of explanation, I've just come off the, uh, the back end of a Persona 5 playthrough of my own. And this is now happening. Fair enough. Well, that's one way to get everyone's attention. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> oh. Slim down this summer with the We're just looking at advertisements for soda cans. Fair enough. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure scandal. Yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, it, what is that supposed it's what to matters? Be? Oh, like, what is that what you look for in a relationship? I don't think that tends to hold together very well. Case in point. Nice scandal. Hey, and there's our boy. So once again, well, I'm sure that you all oh, know Christ. already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. So there's a flashback of us getting thrown out of our old school for various reasons. By thrown out, I mean we're just leaving, but you know, I don't think it's anything special in this case. But yeah, so I came off a of Persona 5 playthrough and I decided, hey, I want to play the fourth one because I never actually got around to finishing it. I did play it for a time on my own. We will arrive at the Yasukami I only got a, I got a few dungeons in. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yasuo Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. Yeah, I got a few dungeons in, but I haven't gone any further. And since then, I lost all that data and everything else. So I figured, you know what? Why not do a run? to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Miss Should Mayumi we go Yama. soon? Kind of yeah, it's just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. Oh, that looks uh, a little medicine. I don't remember ever seeing that the first time, but then again, my memories of this game is a little hazy now. I tend to remember all the larger details, not the smaller stuff. So anyway, he's having fun flashbacks on the way over to the destination. I don't think I've ever ever seen that Yasuo before. I wonder what Inaba. that's about. So anyway, this is basically a blind playthrough. The only knowledge I have is from what I did last time, and uh, since I had no experience with a Persona game at all last time, I imagine it was pretty terrible. My blind, my blind run through of uh, Persona 5 was not great either. Hey, over here! And our ride's here to meet us. Ignore the flickering textures. Don't worry about it. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Alright, we better get used to this face. We're gonna be seeing it a lot from now on. Both of them. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Mother's younger brother. Hey, uncle. I'm our boy. That's what my mother said when she uh, saw, gave birth and decided this is everyone's problem. Except maybe hers. That's why she's giving, her to you. giving him to you. It is nice to meet you. Thank you for coming out and... Not leaving me stranded at <laughs> the station. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? Oh, that kind of meeting. Yeah, I love those. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. Greetings, small child. <laughs> Hello. The, uh, the social kind. <laughs> what are you so shy for? 
Ow! <laughs> Look, just because his name's Aw Boy doesn't mean he actually is everyone's boy. Some people may disagree. <laughs> or maybe well, it's then. just daddy Let's issues. You never know with this one. And I never got very far into the social link, so I'll never find out, because from memory it was a pain. My car's over there. Alrighty, let's get wondering. This train station was getting old anyway. So this is, I'm sure anyone who's had experience with this series has already figured out, this is not Persona 4 Golden. That is for a PS Vita. I don't have a Vita. I have a portable, which is very different. So, we're going to be stuck playing the old version. And all its issues and glory. To the gas station we go. Hi, welcome oh, to mate. Mall. That guy's keen. The car didn't even stop moving. He's running at it. Can you go to the bathroom? He gets paid by, by how many cars he puts out. Uh huh. Pit stop for everybody. I'll, I'll just be in the back or the front. It's in the back to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. Is that how that works? I know. Jeez. Well, she's off and she doesn't appreciate being told Are to do. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Mm. Now, I'm no, I'm no professional talking to attendants at gas stations. Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's Whoa. fine. That was a that was a fun little audio skip for a second, but yeah, I don't normally right speak away, my sir. life affairs to the guy who fills up my car because nobody fills up my car. I do it by myself. Smoke. Well, I smell lung cancer walking away. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Friends? Who do you take me for? You know, you can see the selling Speaking of the which, city. Speaking of we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, good. They are, uh... They are trying to conscript me in already. This is, a uh, Boring town, they said. They weren't kidding. They're already oh, trying to pull people in. I should in. get back to work. Yeah, you should get started. There's a small child glaring at me. It's okay though, we have a headache to keep us Are awake. You okay? You know, don't worry about Did it, it you just get happens. Car sick? It, yeah, yeah, there's all the car. You it smells bad. Too good. That's what happens when you fuel it up and you leave the gas open. Long trip. Must have been traveling for a while. I mean, train rides are pretty. Just sit there and watch your limbs just crumple upwards. But hey, he'll shake it off in a couple of days. He'll be fine. It's a nice little place. They, uh, I see they leveled out the ground to try and keep everything flat. Next year, this will be our home. Oh yeah. The year we're staying with the uncle. Let's have a toast. A toast to orange juice. I assume that's what she's holding. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Ah. I so know it's only for just a year, uh, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a the kid. The kind who are, uh, work over, work over a stable household. I understand. This is, this is this, uh, our boy's life right now. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. He sounds like a rough household. Small child. As you're here, you're part of the family, so make yourself at home. Oh, that's nice of him. Part of the family. But yeah, small child and breadwinner. That's a a breadwinner. That's the uh, the lively household. You know what? Thank you. You took me in. It's quite nice. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. 
Hey, you gotta make a good impression when you first show up at someone else's house to stay there for a whole year. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tent. Well, anyway, let's eat. Alrighty, let's eat our dope. Oh, rip. Who's calling at this hour? Work calls. Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Works really cool. Yeah. I see. So where is it? Uh, where is it? All right, I'm on my way. Well, that's uh. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. <laughs> oh, good. This is all the signs of a happy family. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. <laughs> all right, goodbye. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Oh. Well, there's the sound of depression. Is the uh Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. Alright. Well, I'm off. This is the independent household. It's not independent by choice. I get the feeling. This bodes well. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Oh, sweet. Let's rain eat. even more. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh... Let's just fill this void in our hearts with the, uh, the adults leaving. Let's try to have a conversation. It must be tough, like, she's doing a lot of stuff by her own by the looks of it. It's always like this. Oh, that's even worse. What kind of family have I walked My into? My dad's a detective. Yeah, he's fun to sudden calls. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary, Taro Namatame, is under fire for alleged relationship with a female reporter. Now oh, bring this back up, are we? Scandals. Juicy. His wife, Enka Ballad Sensation Misuzu Haragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. Something about that, uh, the eyes on that odd star, I think, kind of freaks me out a bit. It might be just the so big, the lack of any, like, pupils or irises. This is boring. It's just one tiny little black dot. Look at that. Today is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Oh, good. Every day's great at your Tunex. Little, uh, cartoon jingle? Every day's great at your Tunex. Oh, boy. They're already brainwashing the kids. Aren't you going to eat? After with it, there's this scandal of society singing in front of me. How could I eat at a time like this? You know what? Better do what she says before she grows an arm and just beats us to death with it. Alright, that's the tutorial stuff out. Well, no, we haven't even hit the tutorial yet. Send help. The early stuff in this game is atrocious. Save the game! Alright, we're safe. Sort of. But now, uh, it's just me and her. Stuck in a rainy house. Where am I? I just got here. This kid dresses very formal. Which I believe is also his school uniform, so it's kind of... What are you doing, buddy? We have ingredients, we can make lunch. We do not have ingredients. But, if you want ingredients, check the fridge. Some fried rice. Eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna just walk into someone's house and eat their food. Well, he did say treat it like home. Sure, why not? Nope, 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 don't mind me. Has no taste at all. Strange. Did they fry the rice or did they just put it in a sour, a slow cooker and just go meh? Well, I guess that happened. We have now eaten the fried rice of the house. Oh, what's going on to you? 
Is that a loss? Yeah, this is awkward. It's on TV. The forecast. Oh, rainy with fog today, fog tomorrow. For anyone who knows, that means good things happen. And then lots of other rain. Alright, well, what about, can we leave? Too late to be leaving home today. That's okay, we don't know where we'd go anyway. I guess we're going up. From memory, this should take us to our... Yeah, this should take us to our room. And we're borrowing from Dojima. Yeah, we're, uh, we're renting this space. For real cheap. Long trip. Go to bed. Mona, please. Oh. Yeah, okay. We may have a good dream if we go to sleep. Fine, I guess we'll do it, game. I'll be living in this town for one year starting today. Wonder if everything will be alright. I'm sure everything will be fine. But school starts tomorrow and that's the bad part. So I guess we're going to bed. Is this this good dream that they promised me? Oh yeah, as I did say before, I did come straight off a of Persona 5 playthrough, so if I'm hitting weird buttons for no reason, uh, that's gonna be 100% my fault, because I'll have all the muscle memories wrong when I try to hit triangle for an all-out attack and probably cancel it. This is... The area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Ah, the land of question marks. Oh, it's inverted. Wait, no, it's not. I'm just dumb. Well, this is a... Uh... Yeah, it's just a path forward. I guess we'll start walking. Hope no shadows show up. So we're, are we in the distortion world right now? The cognitive people? Oop, I am... F what the heck? Right, is let that is uninverted. Oh no. Ah, it won't let me swap it either. Okay, I guess we'll deal with inverted controls and keep walking. Do you seek the truth? You hear someone's voice. I'm seeking truth of where am I and why these controls are inverted, please. I know you're behind this, whoever you are. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. The voice from up the voice came from up ahead. Finding is kind of the operative term at this point. I don't have much else to do. Oh, the giant square. You sent someone beyond this door. Continue through. Absolutely. Our boy does not like to sit on his lone laurels. He likes to walk forward. Oh man, what's going on? Uh, we just whipped the sword out of nowhere, gotcha. So, you are the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. Pursue. Skills. Whoa, where do I get all these from? Uh... Tell me what- it, okay, increase the defense. Now, what we believe in attacking here? Oh, okay, we have a persona already, do we? Hmm. Seems you can see through a little despite the fog. Kiss him again! Lightning bolts! I, I don't think he cares about paltry 5 damage. Speaking of, I see. Indeed, you possess an interesting quality. Oh, more <laughs> slaps. 10. Physical is the way to go. But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Bewildering. Fog is doubled for today. Uh, I guess we'll just swing wildly into the fog and hope that it works. Nope. Everyone sees what they want to. And the fog only deepens. Well, I see a, uh, a target, so I'm just gonna hit the target and hope it works. Nope. Will we meet again? At a place other than here. Hmm. 
I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. Just covered in fog and the brain's just like, nope, I'm done. We're not handling this. But it's the next day. So that was the dream they promised me. I want a refund. You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast. Oh, breakfast. Time to get up. Ah, oh boy, I can't miss his meal. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could that have been about? What could it have been about? I still don't know. Something about the cognitive world, that'd be my guess, but... Anyway, you're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Because yes, cognitive worlds. While this game is about Japanese high schoolers, there's also other things, allegedly. Good morning. Good morning. Well, toast, bacon, eggs, and I don't see a single father in sight. Okay. Let's eat. This girl is surprisingly sufficient for her age. I'll give her that. Yeah, did you do all this? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Well, Dad there's a way around cook, so I got <laughs> dinner. I see. Only one cooker around here. You're starting school today, right? Uh, Tuesday, My I guess. My school's on the way, so let's go together. Excellent. We can go in the walking. We can go walking in the pouring rain together and be wet and miserable. Seems somewhat restless. I wonder why. You decided to head to school today with Nautica. Well, school zone Simagawa floodplain. Yeah, that's just the area I want to be walking through in the rain. Well, at least we have umbrellas. You keep going straight from here. Now leave, peasant. My school's this way. Bye. All right, bye. I will walk forward and hope I hit a school. Like I know my way around this place. School zone intersection in front of the school. So I assume this town's just one giant straight line. What a terrible whoa! Who taught you to ride? Anything. Good job, person who's definitely not a main character. Not with a portrait like that. That looks painful. Funny that. You'd leave him be. This is uh this is a turning point for our character. He sees someone hurting themselves on the sidewalk and goes, you know what? I'm leaving. I have better things to do. I have a school I could be at. There's a girl with a red umbrella there that I could be hitting on right now. You've arrived at the main gates of the Yasogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? I guess we'll find out. Ah, uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Morooka, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Oh good, we get the great teacher. Hey you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Sorry to disappoint, but... Well, I didn't even get to hear him be disappointed. A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh Yosuke? <laughs> huh? You look dead today. Yosuke wants nothing to do with this. Look at him. Collapse on the table. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Did he just drag himself to school after that accident? What's with him? Oh, you know, sudden Who trauma knows? to the uh, the lower areas. Nothing to worry about. I'm sure will be fine. Ah, the man with the pinstripe suit. Right, shut your traps. And the the forward teeth and the comb over hair and just this guy paints a pretty picture. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka. Your homeroom teacher from today forward. Yes, I've heard you had a bit of a reputation, pal. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Is that how class normally works? Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. <laughs> pure. <laughs> He's going to be one of those guys who... I ain't who... <laughs> wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. Yes, pl please introduce me. I, I bet you don't have two body pillows hidden under each of your desks so that you can look gazing lovingly at your pure waifus in 2D. 
This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Hey, I'll have you know I'm at least a week old by now. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Of course not. I'm three Tell him your filthy. name, kid, and make Why it would quick. Morocco want anything to do with someone like me? My knee, my name. <laughs> I. What's the bit where I can actually say my name? I want to be like, I'm our boy. This is me. Speaking of which, who are we? We can always introduce ourselves to the class, say nothing, which is the actual loser option, or we can pick a fight with the teacher. Can we actually pick a fight with the teacher? You call me a loser? <laughs> Your courage is increased. Oh, thank you, game. I'm actually impressed you let me do that. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. That's right. I feel like I would have been there anyway. Nice vein. Now listen up. <laughs> this town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. I don't know, I'm looking at a pretty big one right now. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. I, I'm sensing personal issues here. We can be personal, buddy. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Oh good, we're throwing nostalgia in with this. This is a great combination. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones. Checking your life journals and your my places. I gotta keep hearing all you damn kids complaining about a hard day's work back in my day. Blah 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 blah. Oh, yeah, blah 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 blah. Uh, excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Oh, he's gonna love that suggestion. Huh? Oh. Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already! And here I was expecting him to give someone the third degree for asking someone of the opposite gender to sit next to them. But I guess most of the areas around here have that. He's already given he's us all. He's the worst, huh? Yep, absolute worst. He's given us all up as lost causes. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. I mean... I guess we're all stuck here together. It's not like he hates me specifically. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. And then again, we're all in the same boat. Whiny student. I mean, she's got Shut legitimate reasons. I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Manner. Gotcha. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here with King Moron? Well, let me put it this way. After the warm reception that you get at school in Persona 5, I think we'll be fine. We're not a convicted criminal with a criminal record that's been leaked to entire class and then exacerbated beyond exaggeration. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Oh yeah, first day at school, nothing happens. Sounds about right. Oh jeez, I'm being swarmed. Get them away. Attention all teachers. Teacher, save me. The Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Oh, that sounds pretty serious. Duh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Oh, and he's loving it. Oh, he's loving it. He totally wants to be here right now. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Oh good, they're not swarming me, they're just swarming each other. Oop, sirens. Don't leave the school, sirens happen. happen. Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Hey, foggy in that dream? Foggy yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard the that the person from the scandal, right? Is it the hanging around here? Are you serious? Oh, don't tell us what you heard. Okay, just yeah. All right. Well, he knows, I guess. 
and... Hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Did they swap the subject? Is he now looking for a, is it a true date? Is that announcer staying at your family's inn? Because if he is, it's the worst way to get someone's attention. I can't discuss such things. Oh, wrecked. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, his love of rumors was not enough to defeat her love. Wait, that's Sheesh, not how it works. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. Uh, yeah, I guess everyone's just stuck here after school. <sighs> I should have left before the announcement, come on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? Try what he told me the other day. You know, I that sent thing some gossips. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's just... I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. <laughs> Alright, so she's getting around a bit. Well, attention, all attention students. for her is getting around. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? Yeah, that sounds friendly. Like a police what, swarm something and everything. actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. <laughs> Please ignore the police officers and go directly home. Time to go bother the police. I mean, I guess they... Hey, are coming. you going home by yourself? Absolutely. Please leave. Why don't you come with us? Refused. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? I mean... If you... Nah. I feel like the jacket gives it away. Well, it's like nice the two people you. who stand out in a class of grey. Uh, this is Yukiko Amagi. She's death staring at me. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I've got no upbringing. Uh, I mean... I just wanted to ask... Is, is it wrong to say that? Yeah, that's all. Well, I guess we're, uh, we've been picked up. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. This is like, the, uh... The way he moved was just... Just the way amazing. he's holding it, the way he's talking. This is a man who has something to hide. And... I'm really sorry, it was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Well, at least he's offering to pay it back. See ya, thanks! Okay, okay, thanks, bye. Stop right there! What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's twice in one day. What the? I can't believe this. It is completely cracked. My trial of the dragon. That's all right. The dragon trial was I too think great. Mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Well. Uh, are you all right? I guess that's the end of the uh, the the uh, Yusuke line. We'll uh, rest in peace. We'll be going. Oh, you could go, son. Are you worried about me? <laughs> oh, he troop is on. He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Well, at least his points for trying. Looks like he's in a lot of pain. Funny that. Should leave him be. Well, have fun with uh, getting smacked in the, in the nethers twice in a row. I'll just be leaving now. I don't have the time for this. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out Damn, somewhere? she's popular. What? Who, who are you? Like, I know I've played this before, but it's kind of just the memory of just, oh man, everyone's glomping her all What's day. What's up with him? I wonder why she's turning he everyone from? down. Never mind that. Hey, he's he's going for Yukiko-san? He? He's going Man, you think he'd formal. at least wait until she's alone to make his move? I mean, you know, he's from I a different school. Tap, when will he even know? knocked out. <laughs> No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? The, the Amagi challenge. This is the. This is how you treat oh, girls, guys. So are, are you coming or not? This girl's the challenge to be conquered, the mountain to be climbed. And funnily enough, 
I'm not going. That's the answer you get. Fine. And so he throws a tantrum and runs away. Also the correct response. Wait, no it's what, not. What did he want from me? What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. Well, rest Herman? in pieces his day really? that she didn't even realize. You really had no clue? Shh. But then again, that was way over the top. I mean, it was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. He just started with a pet name. He, Yo, he really Yuka wanted to try. I'll give him that. Turn down another lovelorn fool, huh? You talking about yourself or the other guy? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. Yeah, really good. I don't around. recall doing that. And then rip. Are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? This guy, on the other hand, is the epitome of bouncing back. I'll give him that. I'd rather not. And then immediately shut That'll down. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. But hey, he handles it pretty well, so he's gone. We're just curious, is all. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Dragging me into this? I've just been sitting on the pop line, on the uh, the sideline, hoping for popcorn. I wouldn't worry about it. Everybody is staring. Yeah, we picked up a bit of a, an audience here. <laughs> All right, time to leave. So our first. <laughs> so our first day of school involves um. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> oh yeah. I thought it was something way more serious. The first day of school involves us annoying the teacher, getting uh There really is nothing here. Watching huh? several guys get shot down, making well, a scene in front of the makes courtyard. It nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. And that is the sad reality of small towns. But Oh, though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Fair oh, wait, enough. There's the Amagian. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Uh, huh? It's just an old inn. I guess I I don't quite understand oh, no how way. an inn can it's be the pride of an entire of town, but, a hidden treasure. but you know, whatever works. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. The inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. Oh, I don't think so that's entirely this, true. So this is a town of tourism. I get you. So tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? Not bad. <laughs> it's hard to say. Ow. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna avoid that one because that just seems rude in general. So we'll just go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I knew it. Come on, don't start this again. Yep, put us all on a line. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? I feel like she just got turned off the whole prospect in general. Come on, stop it. This probably isn't helping. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Oh, so she's got all the boyfriends. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Never mind. Strong independent woman that don't need no boy. That's, that Jeez, is, uh, I just had my entire wrist crack from me swapping my opposition to do that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But this is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city and you barely said a word. I mean, what's there uh, to it? Hey, what's that? Talking to someone with a big city, it's like talking to someone from a small city, except with less buildings. More buildings. You know. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow! Who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? That? I wanted to see it too. Speaking of which, hanging anything from oh, an antenna is pretty impressive. Late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. It, it has a name, woman. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Exactly! It's not an it. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? That she did. On an antenna of all things, because that's where we put them nowadays. 
Look, the ground's getting a bit full, all right? We buried so many people down there, we've started putting hey, them up. what are you doing here? Oh, just walking. Yeah, just passing by. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. This is right next to the school, from memory. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. What was he gonna do? Call it a roadblock? You know this guy? Allegedly. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. <laughs> Big Daddy Dojima stepping in for us. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. And then Big Daddy Do Dojima doing dad job. Fair enough. <laughs> well, and he's in a hurry. <coughs> First day on the job. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? Maybe not the first day on the job. I'm sorry. <clears throat> this poor guy. His go life must be face. suffering. We're gonna go around and gather information. Alrighty. Well, they're gonna go do detective things and we're getting out of here. <gasps> was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean? It was hanging from the antenna. The body hanging from antenna? They wanted hey, to make a Yukiko, statement. Hey, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. Well, I guess the dead body turns everyone right, then, off a little bit. we're taking bit. off starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. Alrighty. Catch you later, green and red. Let the Christmas couple disappear. And we're heading straight home, so Daddy Dojima doesn't catch us and, you know, give us a talking of a lifetime. We'll go keep poor misery over here, company. This, there may as well be I wonder just... if Dad's not coming home again tonight. It's like, we could bring a rain cloud in here, and it wouldn't change anything. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. And that music sounded way too happy for what they were uh, recording. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. I'm assuming that's the one hanging off an antenna? Yep, he's coming to the same conclusion. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. And there it is. That was the one involved with the scandal as well. What a fun day to be her. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! Yep, they're doing their job. <sighs> it, it, it'll be fine. They're, they're investigating. They're not getting shot at. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. Though I guess he will be back probably next week. The Maybe. body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Now that I think about it, that's probably why she's just so, that's probably why she's freaking out and so I'm not gonna see my daddy for a week. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. Cause someone's trying to make a statement. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. Uh like when you find someone hanging off a pole and dead up like 10 feet in the air, I question the accidents that can occur to cause that, oh whoops, I tripped and went a thousand feet in the air and came back down. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Well, that fog gets around though, damn. It seems the local TV announcer's, uh, TV station's announcer was found dead near Yosagami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. We caught the back end of it. They found her on the roof? That's scary. That is kind of weird, yes. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. Good thing she has the attention span of a goldfish. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come Maybe see for yourself just, you know, and get in touch TV. with our products. Like, sorry, this is the advertisement that does it. Every Is great at your Juness. She really loves that song, huh? <laughs> oh no. No, Nanako, don't ask me to sing nothing. 
It, you, you like that song? I don't, I don't want to yep. join in. I'm it's good. Popular at school too. Our boy doesn't do the singing. He's not. He's he's not very tone apparent. Popular at school too, man. They, man, give credits to the guys doing the advertisement. They're they're apparently getting all the kids' head these days. That advertisement. It's just brainwashing now. Just forgotten all about the scary story. Memory of a goldfish. And hey, we're free. What's going on? When's dad coming home? Uh, judging by all the work that she that he has to do, probably not for a while. Uh, we don't care about the weather. So much we can do right now, is there? Can we make lunch? We don't have any ingredients, I don't think. Let's have a look. Nothing catches up. Yep, nothing really in the fridge. I guess we'll just save and go. Alrighty. Tired, you are tired from adapting to a new environment. Rest in your room. Yeah, there's not much else to do here. I doubt they'll let me out already.